What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the aftermath of Cletus and Cars Indy. Stay tuned. So first things first, we can actually say we came back with a truck that ran. So that's one positive thing out of the situation because we haven't had much luck. But let's take a look at where we're at with the truck, what damage is done, and what we need to accomplish before the next event. So from just looking at the truck here, the main thing that was damaged was basically the wire loom on most of this. Some of these wires really need to be inspected, make sure that there's no coating burned off or anything like that. Again, if you didn't watch, this is the main feed line that was loose here, which caused all the issues. We were rushed in the pits. I don't think I really elaborated, but we actually had coolant going in number eight cylinder. There still is coolant going in number eight cylinder. We thought maybe we could fix it. Since we loaded up Friday night at one o'clock in the morning, I slept for 30 minutes. We left at 2.30, I believe. Um, yeah, it was just a wild and crazy night, crazy morning, I should say. By the time we got the Cletus cars, fired it up, and we seen that there was coolant spraying out of the passenger side exhaust. So what we did was we actually tore the entire motor down, as I showed in the pictures, uh, all the way down to the intake, and it looked like the intake gaskets were possibly leaking. So we put new ones on. Did seem to help, but we believe maybe either a cracked head, head gasket, or... Could be a few other combinations. Maybe head studs are possibly leaking past, but we won't know until we tear it apart. So we're gonna take off everything on the top end. We're gonna take off the hat, the spacer, the blower, and obviously the blower spacer there. And then what we're gonna do is my brother's gonna come over, we're gonna pressurize the cooling system, use a boroscope and look down in through the intake runner in the exhaust port. So I'll take the headers off as well and just see if we can actually see where it's coming from. I'm almost betting if I pull out number eight spark plug that we're going to have coolant coming out of there currently just from the valve either sitting with it open or closed, whichever position, however it's getting in there. So let's start by taking off this stuff and then we'll see what we got going on. Okay, well, nothing out that. So, I guess we'll just uh, wait till my brother gets here. Like I said, we'll do a pressure tester, check down inside the exhaust port and also down inside the intake, see if we can see where it's coming from. All right, so my brother showed up here at the shop. It's about 9.30. We need to get parts because we're looking to make a test run this weekend. So, instead of testing it in the truck, we actually decided just to tear everything apart. So we have everything off intake, doing the last head bolts now, and then we'll take them over to my brother's shop, check head gaskets and pressure test the heads and make sure nothing's cracked. If we're looking good on the heads, hopefully just head gaskets and we can have it back together. And then we'll make it another test run. All right, it is the next night. We're headed over to my brother's shop. He called me up and told me, bring the camera over. Uh, I'm sure it's not good news. So headed there now. We'll check the heads out when we get there in just a moment. All right, so this is what? The head that was on the truck? Yep. I don't even have to put air in there. You can see it. Look uh Oh, right down there. Might be a little... Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to point, point my finger on the other side, or point down in there. Show them where it's at. Here, I guess I can turn that on. Alright, so there's the crack. This is the one that was on the passenger side. Definitely very noticeable there down in the runner. And then we also went and picked up some heads from... From the guy that the motor came from and that's the head here and this one is cracked right by the valve spring here and we have the other head somewhere that came off the truck but we haven't had time to check that one but at this point 
I'm going to say it's a no-go for Saturday. Nope. So we're stuck with uh, no heads for the motor for Saturday. So there will be no test runs, but there is an update on the truck. Stay tuned for the next video, though, because uh, we got something in store for this weekend. So we'll be making another video. Hope you guys will like this one. We'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Get out, get out, get out. All right, we're good. He's safe. Everybody give it up.